So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this um, hippo design that I purchased on Etsy. I will leave the link at the end um, in the description for you. Um, I'm going to show you how I've made her using a multi, uh, sorry, not a multi needle, using a single needle Brother Inovis F440E. It's a 5x7 hoop. Um, it's the same machine as the Brother PE800, but this can be done on any sort of single needle machine or double or multi needle. But I, I you know, my my tutorials are all on a single needle. Kim does the one on the multi needles. Um, her link will be in the description as well. Um, so yeah, that's what this video is about. Give it a watch. I hope it um, helps you figure out how you do this and have fun. So for this, you are going to need your t-shirt or fabric hooped with stabiliser like this. Your embroidery machine. Mine is the Inovis F440E. You're going to need your um, minky type fabric if that's what you're using for the hippo's body. Um, you're going to need something for the skirt. I'm going to use this. Um, this pretty blue and pink flowery fabric. Um, I'm using the embroidery vinyl for the bow. But you can use the same as your skirt or contrast it. You're going to need um, threads. Uh, contrasting threads to you embroidery threads for your machine and also I've not got it here with me but you're going to need um, a white uh, some white material for the muzzle the fingers and toes or hands and feet however you'd like to call it let's go to the machine so we're just doing the placement stitch for the legs of the hippo. So that was the tack down stitch. Um, I forgot to say you will need some water soluble stabiliser as well just to make things look a bit better now I'm doing the um, satin type, type stitch around her legs It's now just done um, a placement stitch for the upper part of her body. So we'll just pop on the fabric and carry on from there. So I've popped the minky and some water soluble stabiliser as well. Because it really, really does help see that outline to cut out. To cut, cut out out around sorry I can't speak today it helps see the outline to cut out around your applique now we're doing the um, outside that edge stitch like the satin the start of the satin stitch So that's the placement stitch for the minky part of the head. So we'll just pop the fabric on and I'll see you back in a second. Again, I've put the fabric and the wash away stabiliser. 
ready for the placement stitch. So that's just doing the outer edge stitch. Now around the face part. So now it's doing the satin stitch around the legs. So we've stitched the placement stitch for the skirt and I'm just going to excuse my hand. Um, pop under the fabric for the skirt and tack it down. So her little skirt's done, we're just doing the satin stitch or the zigzag part of the satin stitch should I say for her skirt and now it will do the satin stitch. lovely pink satin stitch and I'll see you back here when it's done so I've just given her a little waistband as you can see and the waistband will match her hair bow and we just need to satin stitch the waistband
just stitching in the pinks of her ears. And now we're on to the bow. So this will be the placement stitch. As you can see, my thread's tangled up. I'm just going to cut that before it causes a disaster. So now we're tacking down the bow. I've used a holographic embroidery vinyl for this in pink. Just sewing out the satin stitch now for the bow. Now I'm going to do the um, placement stitch for the muzzle. The muzzle is done and we're just now sewing on the nostrils and eyes. I have used some water soluble stabiliser on top of the white toweling material so that we don't lose the stitches. and nostrils done okay so I've done all of her feet and her hands I didn't film those because they were quite fiddly um, I'm just gonna take off tidy her up cut any jump threads take off the water soluble stabilizer and I'll meet you back here with the finished results and there she is the finished product I absolutely love her but I will say this, it was fiddly. Um, it's a lovely design. I love it. Um, I'd love to use it on some pyjamas or something for my Etsy shop. Um, and I still probably will, but with different fabrics. Um, I think the fabrics I've chosen has given some um, different textures. I like texture. And this has given different textures with the towel in for the muzzle. And the, you know, the minky for the body, cotton for the clothes, the um, oh, embroidery vinyl for the bow. Um, and, and I think texture makes things really stand out. Um, but it was fiddly. Um, so for a business, it might not be viable. But if you're making this for a niece or um, a granddaughter, I I'm saying girls, obviously it can be for boys as well. But just because of the skirt and the bow, um, that's the reason I'm saying, you know, 
girls rather than boys but obviously it can be for either um you know if you're making it for them it's absolutely wonderful and look at her she's so cute her little nose her bow her skirt yeah i'm really happy i will leave the link for where i purchased this on etsy in my description so please go and check that out it's just underneath the video i think there's a little arrow in the white in the white um the white boxy kind of section i think if you click the arrow it drops down and you can read the description and any links um i know um my friend in the uk kim kim thane she has um youtube channel called kim thane um if you go and check her out she's been doing some similar sort of designs but on a, a multi-needle so you can see how it's done with me on a single needle and with her on a multi-needle um, not necessarily the same designs but similar you know the minky um the cute um teddy berry kind of designs so go and check her out i'll also leave her link in my description as always so you know where to find her pop and give her a subscribe and her videos a watch and yeah i'll see you in the next video if you can all also obviously click subscribe because i know some people that watch this don't subscribe um but if you can click subscribe and like the video maybe leave a comment it all helps me to be seen on uh, youtube which then means i can do more videos um, because they are time consuming but I love doing them but without the support it may not be possible so thank you all once again and I'll see you in the next video bye